Hi guys, before you start learning Redux Saga, you have to have a knowledge about generator JavaScript function because the Saga code that we're going to write actually written in the generator JavaScript function. Now, for more information, you can go to the developer Mozilla MDN and there you can search for generator, but I'm going to teach you about this generator function now in here as you can see the syntax wise this is a function star and the function name so in mozilla mdn you can have two ways to create this function but i'm going to create uh, using one that which is the like the best way so the best way is function then after star and then after the function name so i'm going to give the function name is gen now if you're using this generator function you have this keyword now what does this keyword does that uh, just for right now just uh, use it and i'm going to tell what it is now if we just write this for uh, this part now if as we know that to, to get any information uh, so we're just gonna call this function right so if i just type in like this and now if i just run this file or this space index you can see that we got a generator but it's an object so basically we got an object from here now in here for seeing these values so basically this yield what it does that it will stop the code run yeah it basically stopped the code run from this second line of code to the to go to the third line of code so that's what we are doing so it will be stopped in this uh, second line of code now for seeing the value inside it we can use this next function which is a uh, object which is a key in the object of gen now if i just use this one node index again you can see that we got the value value one and done is false we will talk about this later now you get the value so you can say that when you use value you will get the value one now but we haven't got this value two number right number two it at the line number at uh, line number three so just for now i'm just going to use a const and name is g equal to chain now in here you have a reference of it so we can use like this c dot next now for getting the value at line number three you have to again use this i'm just going to copy it and just paste in here you have to call it again g dot next so what it does g dot next that it will go to the second after that line of code second line of second number of line of code so then we got this value two and then to be false now again we don't know about this turn to be false so if i just again log it so just out of curiosity what is the value that we will get so as you can see that what we have got the value undefined because we haven't we have nothing after third line of code and as you can see done is true it means that all the line of code has been run and nothing to show that means it's finished now you have seen this generator function so yeah this is what we're gonna see in our redux saga but i'm going to tell more about this uh, gen function like uh, how can we call another function from this generator so what you can do that you can use again yield star and give the name of the function name that you wanna give. And here I'm going to pass this then. Now, if I just uh, write again function, generator function, 
gym function star tan 2 and again i'm going to yield it yield i plus 10 so i'm giving different values in here now if i just save it here and again i'm going to run it and you can see that we got the value so as you can see that we have run inside uh, a function gen2 and we call this gen function and we got the value now as i have said redux saga and thunk is used for asynchronous process for fetching data from a server and for that we have seen that we have used async await uh, method but uh, actually what happens that we cannot use it in our generator function because it doesn't support that's why so for that you have we have another thing in redux saga but you can use the dan catch block that you might see that maybe i have implemented and using that you can try so yeah so yeah in the next video we were gonna definitely start with redux saga and see how can we code it yeah that's all thanks